we're going to get into a topic uh, from the periodic table chapter that can be difficult at first glance. It's the idea of shielding or screening. It's the same thing. Here's uh, how this works. In the middle of an atom, say you have a nucleus, and then surrounding the atom you have the electrons, but there's two types of electrons. There's the core electrons and then the valence electrons. The valence electrons tend to be more involved in the general chemistry of the atom or the molecule, what have you. So, if we have a particular atom, that has what's called a Z. I don't know if you remember this from before, but Z is the atomic number or the number of protons. Okay? So say, for example, that this atom has two protons. Here's the problem. If there are too many core electrons, the valence electrons might be literally blocked or shielded from seeing the total number of protons in the nucleus. So whereas there might actually be two, the valence electrons, because they're so blocked by the core electrons, might, for example, only see one. So while there's two electrons in the middle, the valence electrons might think that there's only one electron in the middle. Z the total nuclear charge, or the number of protons in the nucleus, is always greater than or equal to Z effective. Effective is, Z effective is the number of protons that the valence electrons effectively see, or see in reality. So while there might be, let's pick a different number, eight protons, the valence electrons, because they're shielded or screened by the core electrons, might think that, that instead of eight, there's only six protons in the nucleus. Well, imagine a periodic table for a second. Let me just draw a sample. It's kind of rectangular shape, so I'll just draw it as a rectangle, rectangle for now. As you go down the periodic table, it's a, a bit easier to understand the effective. Because as you go down the uh, periodic table, what happens is n is increasing. So let's say you had a nucleus here, and then you had one orbit around it, if we're using the Bohr model, the atom. Well, as you go down the periodic table, you add n equals 2 orbit, you add n equals 3 orbit, n equals 4 orbit, etc. And you can see as you add more and more orbits, there becomes now more and more core electrons. And the valence electrons are always represented by the outermost orbit. And you can see now that the valence electrons would be more and more shielded by the core electrons. Shielding increases as you go down the periodic table. Now let's uh, consider as we go across the periodic table. So if you take a look at your periodic table, lithium ha has a Z of 3. What does that mean? That means there, I'll just make an X here, there are three protons in the center or the nucleus of lithium. Okay? There's also three electrons. Two are core, I'll put two X's in the core, and one is a valence. How did I know that? Well, lithium is 1s2, 2s1. And the 1s2 comes from the previous noble gas in the previous row. And so because of that, these are the core electrons, 2. And then we have 1 valence electrons from the 2s1. Now, I'm going to go to the right 1 on the periodic table, to beryllium. There's beryllium. It's 1s2, 2s2. So now what that means is I'm going to add a second valence electron here. Because as we go along a row, we're just adding valence electrons. And now let's go to the next one, boron. <coughs> boron is 1s2, 2s2, 2p1. So I'm adding another valence electron here. Now as I go to the right one more, I'll go to carbon. And it's 1s2, 2s2, 2p2, so I'm adding another 
valence electron. So notice what's happening as I start to go to the right on the periodic table. The number of core electrons does not change, but as I go to the right, the number of valence electrons increases. In that case, these two are doing, as you go to the right, a worse and worse job at shielding because there's too many electrons in the valence to shield. Okay? So remember, this is the valence out here, and this is the core. As you go to the right one more to oxygen, it's 1s2, 2s2, 2p4. So I add yet another, and now it's 2 versus 6. So those core electrons are getting worse and worse at shielding because there's just too many valence. What does that mean? As you go to the left, shielding increases on the periodic table, and then as you go down, shielding increases uh, on the periodic table.